Sri Lanka is committed to its 17 Sustainable Development Goals by the year 2030. While nutrition remains at the heart of all the SDGs, one goal specifically focuses on zero hunger. Sri Lanka has achieved so much. But one key challenge remains, poor nutrition status across the life cycle. In a growing population of 21 million, stunting or wasting is reported to be approximately one in every six children. One in every two women suffer from overweight or obesity. That is a staggering 2.7 million, aged between 15 and 49 years. Three out of four deaths in Sri Lanka are attributed to non-communicable diseases, such as coronary heart disease, cancer and diabetes all of which are related to nutrition. Meet Prabhath and Geetha. They live in the same community, both living under the poverty line with their families receiving social welfare. Prabhath's parents did not complete their high school education and cannot find stable work. The little income they have is spent on unhealthy food and alcohol. On the other hand, Geetha's parents completed their education and both work. Prabhat and Geetha share a common problem. They are both wasted, which means they are too thin for their height. Prabhat's mother was thin since she was a child and did not gain enough weight during pregnancy. While Geetha's mother was of healthy weight but did not receive adequate nutrition during pregnancy. Prabhat and Geetha were exclusively breastfed, but at six months were only introduced to green gram and rice porridge. Prabhat and Geetha love playing together, but are unable to because their poor nutrition makes them ill often. Prabhat stays sick longer because he doesn't get adequate nutrition, while Geetha's parents discuss her medical issues with health staff and find ways to give her a diverse and complete diet. As they grow, Prabhat continues to miss school due to illness. Geetha continues to eat a healthy diet and is an active and determined young girl. They graduate and Geetha finds stable employment while Prabhat struggles to find permanent work and can't make ends meet. Geetha continues a healthy lifestyle and buys fresh fruits and vegetables from the local market. Prabhat's diet is unhealthy and he becomes overweight and suffers from diabetes and high blood pressure. He is frequently hospitalized, which increases pressure on the health system. Eventually, they both start families of their own. Geetha continues to work, as her workplace supports healthy breastfeeding practices and flexible working hours. Both parents are attentive to proper health and nutrition. Prabhat is unable to support his family and his wife has to leave to find stable work. Their children do not receive adequate nutrition and are often sick. Geetha's children are healthy and productive adults with the ability to support their parents and contribute back to their community. Prabhat is at a risk of dying and his children continue to suffer. The plight of Prabhat is a common story in many households in Sri Lanka. Good nutrition is not something that should only be promoted in early days of life. It is something that should be promoted in each stage of life, from infancy to old age. Good nutrition for Sri Lanka starts with one, but is a task for all. We all need to take the road to a healthier future. Our actions are our future.